What's up everyone? It's RG here, aka the Lino, aka the Merrymaker, aka your poet and teacher for the next five minutes. I'm excited today because today we're talking about history and culture. I want to share with you a poem that I wrote and this poem is special because it is about my own history and culture. My parents come from a place called Sri Lanka and in Sri Lanka there were two groups, there still is, the Tamils and the Sinhalese and the Tamils were the minority and my family are Tamils so my parents came from there to this country. Over the 80s, the beginning of the 80s, there was a big big war that lasted for many many years and in that war loads of people sadly lost their lives. At the beginning of that war I am told by my mother that there was a huge riot and in that riot people came up streets and looked for any Tamil person with a business or a car or a house or a building and when they came up the street they started burning all the cars, they burned all the businesses at that time my grandfather owned a really big stainless steel factory and that factory was burnt overnight down to dust and to this day I never heard my grandfather speak a word after that factory went up in flames. So what I've done is I've created a poem to capture that history and culture. I had to use my imagination but I also had to speak to my mum uh, and my aunties and ask them what happened. This poem is called SS Industries after the 83 riots. I want you to listen out. Listen out for the lines you like, listen out for the words that you feel, listen out for the things you don't like that you think you could do better. Have a listen. SS Industries after the 83 riots. My grandfather built a factory a castle framed by Colombo's smog, brick walled, thick as biceps taut, figures in windows, irises in his eyes. My grandfather built a factory, the rooms like pulsing organs, ironclad chimneys scribbling his signature on the dotted skyline. My grandfather built a factory, stainless steel pots, pans, plates, gleaming medals in our kitchen, my mum holding them high shouting, your grandfather built a factory. She says it sang with his being, growled with his grit, whistled like his workers so the whole city always remembers, my grandfather built a factory that was burnt to black by thugs and for my whole life my grandfather never spoke another word. And so that is how I took my history and culture and pushed it into a poem. Now it's your turn. What I want you to do is think about a story that makes you unique. Think about something that comes from your history or your culture. It could be written as a paragraph like a story, it could be written as a poem, it could be written as a diary entry but the most important thing is for you to look into your own history and culture. Now sometimes you might not know that much about your country that you're from originally. You might have to go and ask your mum or your dad or your grandparents. You can go home and ask them and tell them to tell you so that you can put it into writing. The most important thing is to celebrate where you're from, your history and your culture. I can't wait to see the results and make sure you have fun.